What is this? Open challenge. What is this? Casual? Why does it say open challenge? I'm going to accept it because what is this? Oh, I'm playing anonymous. Oh, I wonder if an anonymous person challenges me. <laughs> it doesn't show their their username. It's just anonymous. I can't even click in to see their history because they're not logged in. That's kind of funny. I don't think I've ever played someone anonymous. I wonder if I'm playing Magnus Carlsen. We're playing with infinite time control. This could take forever. Wait, also, uh, I don't want to forget the first sub of the stream. This is Dre Dre was asking for sub games today. Can we do sub games today? But did you let me know your Leech S username? This is Dre. Great job in Iceland, my friend. Keep up the stellar work. Good luck crushing Magnus. Oh, thank you. I don't think this is Magnus. Magnus wouldn't blunder uh, the thing on G5. But if it is Magnus, Magnus is now attacking multiple things. So I'm going to move here. Ah, I see. Okay. D. What is this name? Doing the leaves. Okay. Oh, do on the leaves. I see. Okay. Oh, my queen. <laughs> I should take more time. But maybe white will be afraid. So for anyone who has like stream ideas, uh, I'm open to suggestions. I was actually going to make a notepad document. So suggestion for sub games, atomic chess, opponent doesn't take my thing. Here we have the triple fork. Hey, it's, it's cat back with a quack. Welcome back. Hello, Eric. Cat, I just cat, cat, won cat. my first staff as Gambit, but I didn't play it nearly as well as you. Oh. Thank you for showing me my new favorite black opening. Oh dear. I have so many things I can take. I'll take the knight with check. <laughs> hey, it's Chess Dojo. What's up, Chess Dojo? Shout out to Chess Dojo. I just started the stream uh, about six minutes ago. And I'm Hello, playing Thanks, Anonymous. Smile. I got debated into accepting this challenge because it showed up weirdly in my challenge list. And I was overly curious. Oh, Fing Duster it says AMA. Oh, it's really close to mate. Okay, I'm going to play this move. Threatening mate in one. Also, oh no, my knight. Yeah, now checkmate. Okay. No mercy that game. Even though I kind of plundered a queen. How about playing chess against Twitch chat? Yeah, I haven't done that in a while. Let's take the bot set up again. Thanks for all the great content, Eric. Fog of War. Haven't done that in a while either. So not all of these ideas I will do this stream. This is going to be a quicker stream than normal, but uh, play with Levy. <laughs> uh, Daily Rapid. Imrose and Angry Goose. I realize I should have like a kind of a central list of just stream ideas. Um, no matter how crazy the ideas are, it, it's nice to have a list to choose from. Thank you, One Bagel. Also, thank you, Nerd of Many Things. King of the Hill. 
suggesting you do something amazing. Just no King Sax. Oh, there, there is some King Sax yesterday. <laughs> I think you do this. Chess variants. Good afternoon, good sir. Yeah, so chess variants, that would be like Fog of War, uh, King of the Hill. Atomic. Hello. Um, I'm gonna just say tracks or arena because that would be kind of cool. Hello. Actually, opening arenas. So basically what I'm doing, I'll bring up chat on stream or on the, on screen, on stream. Here we go. Okay. So here is my workspace right now. Oh, there's a SIP T redemption somewhere. I'm also a slow a slow reader, so sometimes it takes a while to actually catch up with chat. Um, Hi, Eric. Blindfold versus chat. Blindfold simul is always uh, suggested by, by some people. Play with handicap. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. Odds chess. London tips and tricks. Oh yeah, th this would be another category of like um, openings lessons, where like I give a lesson on an opening and then play the opening against viewers. So London. Thank you, Zootopian Bonnie Hitman. Welcome back. Bonnie Hitman, first time subbing with Prime. Hello, DJ Prometheus. Channel Inner Rosing and Stonewall Attack. Ooh, Stonewall converting into Carlsbad. It sounds like it sounds like the game was determined not in the opening, but probably later on. Um, but maybe the opening set the tone. Hello to Electric Eye. Um, we can just have like opening content. Ah. Opening content. Meme openings. Ha ha. Beach Cafe. Headache. Oh, Stafford Gambit time. Yeah, Stafford Arena. I've already done a bunch of Stafford lessons in the past. Oh, yeah, all the Wordles. Wordle. Wordle. Chessel. Nerdle. Quordle. Oh, Chessbots. Chess. What about a Chessbot speedrun? That would be cool. French. Oh, Flaggle. Flaggle sounds like a game where you flag people in chess. I'm very bad with like country flags. I don't want to embarrass myself. Octordal. Ah, Oh, that's cool. Yeah, there's there's other like there's Spanish Wordle. I've done Spanish Wordle and French Wordle. And Russian Wordle, which is quite difficult. Especially because I don't really speak Russian. Okay, um I could just share photos. Um 
I want to do the first thing that was suggested, which is play a sub game against Dew on the Leaves. Here we go. This was the first sub of the stream, so this will just be a uh, regular game. Try and make it instructive. This is three plus two, casual. I'll play e4. Um, there were some suggestions yesterday for a wing gambit, which I, I didn't get around to playing. But the wing gambit, it's kind of cool because you deflect the sea pawn far away from the center. Uh, opponent doesn't want to take my a pawn. Understandably so. Uh, I'll leave the tension. There's a general principle in openings that usually center pawns are more valuable than the side, side pawns. So whole idea is to have more center pawns in black. Uh, not right now. It's impossible for me to sack my queen, at least in one move. But I could I could add this Botez Gambit. Uh I could do a Botez Gambit speedrun. Hikaru style. <laughs> Probably call it an oh no my queen speedrun. Oh yeah, this username is ambiguous because DE could stand for Denmark or the language. It's like the German language, right? Like D1 the leaves. Okay, so I'm aligning with the queen. There is a subtle tactical threat here. There's actually an interesting, okay, not happening. We'll just complete development. No rush to do anything too crazy. Man, the pawn tension is killing me a little bit. Uh, but not really killing me. I'm just a little bit confused, like what the plan should be. Maybe h3, preventing knight g4. I <laughs> didn't mean to flip the board. Rook e1. I'm gradually improving. Oh, Numki asking, you saw like a spar of Italian study. Yeah, I had mentioned on stream, like someone was asking some question about Italian. I did a search and brought in a bunch of games, but I, I didn't really go through too many of the games. Uh, that was from a stream maybe a couple months ago. I should probably calculate like takes, 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 takes. I would be down the exchange in that line. So I'd probably, after takes, I'd probably have to take with queen. Hey, welcome back, Danger Cats. Yeah, I recovered decently well. I grabbed some sushi for dinner last night, uh, along with some adamame seaweed salad. Did a little bit of shopping, got some really high quality green tea. Right now I'm drinking, I'm drinking throat comfort tea. Oh, okay, the first blunder from Black. I think Black forgot the knight was attacked. Can you teach us how to mate with two bishops? I'm not sure if I've ever taught that to anyone before. I'm not even sure how I would teach that. Like, I don't think I was ever formally taught how to mate with two bishops. Because it's such a rare occurrence. Like, I don't think I've had it in the game. Did I? Maybe some, some people in chat know my content history better than me. Oh, thank you, Tammy Gomoy, for the T-bits. Will you do recaps of Reykjavik Open? 
Yes. Um, I didn't do it dur the, during the tournament because I was busy like preparing and sleeping between rounds. And I recorded and edited my round two recap, but it's being held hostage on my MacBook and my MacBook's not booting up. I have the original like raw file that's unedited. My DM made me play chess against a certain Ericus Rossini in a pen and paper. Wait, what? Wonder where he got that from. <laughs> Ericus Rossini. What does DM stand for? Dungeon Master? Direct message? It sounds very Italian. Hey, welcome back to Teotwaki. Yeah, so the... Um, my plan is to take my MacBook to the Genius Bar, and hopefully they can fix it. And in the meantime, I'm going to try and edit on my like old, old laptop, like a 2015 MacBook Pro. Yeah, for the time being, I'm I'm doing a sub game. This is the first sub who uh who made themselves visible on the stream earlier They're trying to show no mercy okay um i feel like black was doing completely fine until like black was probably better until he fixed um, yeah, if, if Knight D5, I'm actually curious how to evaluate this. Ah, uh, I should have the engine turned off. I was going to do guess eval. Oh, that would be another thing to do. Uh, guess the eval and guess the elo levy style. Also viewer game analysis would be, you know, is sometimes in demand. Yeah, the reason why black is doing fine here is because the knight's ready to trade for the bishop. It's hard to actually attack the king because knight g5 runs into bishop g5. Uh, I was going to play this to prepare c4. It still looks a little bit uncomfortable for black. Like b6, c4, knight c7. Even d5. I wonder, I wonder what black should do in this position. So b6, c4. Oh, this is top engine line. Knight c7. Oh, this is a top engine line. Oh, that's funny. Oh, I guess it's already saved here. Ah, so black has takes, takes, and d6. Very timely. And it would be a fight. Welcome back to Stephen Gray. Every dead MacBook I've been given is usually the motherboard. Dad is usually totally fine. Ooh. So my MacBook, it, it will turn on and it will show the loading bar. It'll show some message like had some trouble restarting or something. And it'll, it'll show the loading bar and it gets stuck like midway through the loading bar. I tried booting it up in recovery mode, but the troubleshooting options I looked up didn't really work. So what to do? Hey, thank you, Milwaukee chess hack. Appreciate the first time sub. I did do game reviews. It was the first stream I did in Iceland. Um, one of which made it to YouTube. Someone had a, a brilliant Oh No My Queen. Oh, I see your message. Milwaukee chess hack. Hmm. 
When was the last time you checked your memory? Uh, I have about 100 gigs free out of like one terabyte. Anyway, um, should I pick something else from this list? Odds chess. I could keep doing viewer games. I could do Zen mode too. Maybe I'll, next game will be Zen mode. I have 17 pending challenges. References. Tracks or arena. The problem is I don't have so much time today. I have plans. I'm waiting to hear what my plans are going to be. Um, but I might have to go within like half hour to hour. Oh, what is a Zen thing? The best way to illustrate the Zen thing is to, uh, is to illustrate it. Wait, where'd it go? Game display. So in your Lee Chess settings, there's an option for Zen mode. I'll click yes. Hello, hello. And then I'm going to accept a random challenge. And this is Zen mode. So I have no idea who I'm playing. And the goal is to guess their rating. So for all I know, this could be like a super grandmaster or a complete beginner noob. But I have to treat this somewhat seriously. White's playing mainline theory so far. Hello, hello to Sis Malipsy. I've been playing this more. I played this a little bit yesterday. It's an accelerated dragon. Um, just because I, I was studying it a bit during my last tournament. Oh, guess the time control. Okay, we're playing five plus five. <laughs> Happy Easter, Astara, Passover, whatever you celebrate. Oh yeah, amen. Thank you, Blunder Champ. Okay, so it's a little bit strange for the bishop to be on on b five. Usually, it goes to c four and then back to b three. I'm wondering if I have a, a sneaky move here, knight g4. I don't see anything wrong with knight g4, so I think I'll play it. This is kind of a unique type of tactic. It's more of a positional tactic where I'm, I'm using the, the tactical ideas to try and get some positional gain. Uh, the point is, first of all, if queen takes knight, I take on d4, hitting the bishop and the c2 pawn. And then the queen would be subject to some kind of d5 move. Uh, meanwhile, I'm hitting the bishop. I just want to get the bishop pair. The bishop moves, it leaves the knight undefended. Now, the other critical line is knight takes c6. The plan is to take on e3, hitting the queen, and then I take. So it's one big fancy trade. Now, I think I could have taken on e7 with check, maybe gone up a pawn temporarily. But the point here is uh, we've, yeah, we've traded a, a decent amount, but I keep the bishop here. And especially in my dark square bishop, it doesn't really have a counterpart. Like white can't ever play bishop to d4. And I'll probably go for b5, bishop b7, employing the double fiend keto. And then rook a c8. And even though it's evil material, uh, I think black is like, clearly better here. Twitch baby hype. Imrosen, let's hey. go Imrosen, let's go Imrosen, let's go Imrosen, let's go hyped up, hyped up. Thank you, amazing Ansh. 
Okay, so I finally get my first repawn of the game. Uh, and yeah, white's not trapping this bishop. D3, I take another pawn. It's actually really hard to defend A3. So at some point, I'll have to guess white's raiding. White played decently solid in the opening, but then kind of just crumbled when it wasn't clear what to do. Okay, now I have two connected passers. My bishop might want to maneuver like back to this diagonal. I'm, gu I'm guessing in the range of like maybe 1500. 1500, 1600. Yeah, I think I'll start with this. Actually, yeah. I didn't want my bishops to get stuck on the edge. Oh yeah, for anyone just joining, I'm playing a game in Zen mode, so it hides the usernames. Hello, Eric. So I can focus Miley more. My chess username is Star Golfer. Can Ooh. we play a Blitz game? Happy 13 months. Uh, very possibly. But what if we're playing a Blitz game right now? What if you're my opponent? <laughs> Happy 13 months. I have no idea if my opponent is like listening to the chat. I usually don't mind if they are. Well, let's guess like 1555. Maybe I should guess a little bit higher, but I mean, 92 was a, a clear blunder. We'll see how White uh, plays the rest of the game. I really want to play this move. Takes, takes. Nah, let's play this move. Thank you, Rolling Ghost Stone and Bouldering Fin. Okay, rookie two. Yeah, just because my pawns are blockaded, I think the plan should be to win more material. Mainly the c4 pawn. Already attacked once, it's pinned to the rook. If rook c2, I have rook c8. And then eventually I'll have something like bishop c3 obstructing the rook. So if this or this, I'll have bishop c3. So after this move, there's no defenders of this pawn, and there's two attackers. Oh, that's a good move, though. 92. All right, let's be tricky. I'm going to take the pawn. And after takes, takes, if white takes back, I win the bishop. I'm also kind of just double attacking things. Bishop b3 is likely. And then I'll play this. Now I'm up three pawns. Only have one pass pawn on the queen side. But might as well push it. Hey, anonymous gifting to Niger. Yeah, that's a fellow uh, fellow streamer and friend. Also in the St. Louis area. Thank you, Anonymous. Okay, going for rook b, b2. Trying to to use the second rank. Uh, 
And sometimes to win a position like this, it requires of using multiple ideas at once, like to target f2 and then later push a3. Another idea is rook b3. After this game, I might do a little bit of Q&A. I see there were some questions missed from earlier. It's sometimes easier to, to answer when I'm not playing a game. Eric, play an odds game, give bishop odds, play the ratey opening, and castle before you move any pawns. Wait, give bishop odds. Oh, like knight f3 and then castling on move two. Ah. Uh, for anyone that wants odds games, feel free to send a from position challenge. Okay, I'm going to play king g7. No rush. The king is a little bit better on a dark square. At some point, I might play like bishop b7. Because the rook is tied down to the pawn. If I play bishop b7, rook f4, I have e5. And then I'm controlling all these squares. So king f6 or king um, g7 controlling f6 was actually kind of useful. Video and audio look synced. Okay, that, that's good to hear. There's been cases in the past where it's been slightly unsynced, but not so many people noticed, so it was good. Ooh. Um, it's over defending. So what I can do here is play rook e d2 first, removing the defender, one of the defenders of f2 and now bishop e7 trying to remove the other defender yeah why has no time for rookie seven okay now i can take and now it's just a mating attack it's made in just a few moves Okay, I'm guessing 1660. Actually, 1550. Five. Stay with my original guess. 1555. So this would run into this. But I have this, and then this, and then this. Okay. A nice finish. Pieces were able to coordinate along the long diagonal. Let's see it. 50, oh, 1731. Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe I should have guessed higher. Sometimes it's hard to, to distinguish uh, between a few hundred points. Um, whoa, it's Levy again. What's up, Levy? Or Lucy. Was it Lucy again? Maybe it was Lucy. How did Levy do? Levy had like Levy an interesting reigned. game. Levy drew. I drew Levy once. Also lost to Levy a bunch of times. Uh, welcome everyone. That was decent timing. I just finished the game. Also, thank you, Lucy. You're the best. Is Lavi playing again tonight too? In two games a day? Okay, shout out to Levy. If you haven't heard of him, up and coming streamer, YouTuber person. Had a nice rest after the marathon yesterday. Loved the stream. Thank you, Golden Bumai. Thank you, PDF. Can I analyze Levy's game? 
I could, but Levy's going to analyze his game on his YouTube channel with probably a lot more insights than me. Um, so maybe I'll hold off. It was a boring game. You don't need to. Uh, the thing is, even boring games, Levy can make very exciting in the, the post analysis. So that's the thing about chess. Like it maybe looks boring on the surface, but then once you start like cutting in or diving into it, cutting into it, it's kind of like a, a boring looking cake that's filled with like fruit and ice cream. There's always some delicious flavor to be consumed. Oh, Lucy said you should commentate with her. I'd be up for it. Um, only if, uh, if Benjamin can join too. Need some dog puppy therapy. Benjamin Levy's dog, not, uh, well, Benjamin Feingold would be cool too. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was trying to catch up with chat. I was going to do Q&A from all the questions before the raid, but I think all the questions before the raid are no longer accessible. Uh, <laughs> so I just played a game in Zen mode and I was trying to guess the ELO during a game. I might do another one of these just for for fun let's play another game random challenge okay so this is guess the elo but uh gameplay style so my opponent's name and rating are hidden i also don't know what my rating is maybe i can guess my rating after the game and let's play Stafford Gambit or not? Okay, we have a very symmetrical Italian. Can I just copy all of White's moves? I feel like I'm playing a strong player. I can't play this because after takes, takes, I lose my rook and my queen. So let's play this move. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're playing with increment. So this is just straight up 3-0. Usually very symmetrical positions. White's a little bit better. Just because of the extra tempo. But now things are becoming a bit more asymmetrical. I can take 94... I'm thinking 2000 plus, like White's managed time very well, playing a lot of natural moves. It's hard to gauge though, thus far. I mean, time is close to level. D4 is a very fine move. Although maybe I can take. Wow, okay, I'm definitely playing a good player. Casting so quickly. And like, I mean, I'll take in queen f6, I guess. I want the castle queen side, but I have to give away my casting rights. Can I play this move? I just want to trade rooks now. And then king d8, and then rook e8. Unless white plays this move. Then rook e8, I get mated. But if queen a4, I play queen takes c3, hitting the rook. And also hitting something super secret. I'd be hitting the rook and the, the bishop, which is not defended because f-pawn is pinned. Ooh. Yeah, let's do this. 
There's queen h7, but I don't think it does anything. There's that move too. I'm guessing 2150. Maybe 2160. I mean, white is just down upon here with questionable compensation. People in chat say, oh, there's actually a broad range of guesses. Keep in mind, we are on Lee Chess. On chess.com, my opponent's rated, I would probably guess like 18 or 1900. But Lee Chess, you usually have to add a few hundred points. Okay, uh, maybe it's time for h5. Eventual idea of h4. I should have played this move. Keep the option open of queen moves. Thank you, Just Gravy. I don't think I've ever consumed Just Gravy. Always have gravy with mashed potatoes or or turkey. Yeah, mainly mashed potatoes and turkey. This move looks really nice. Yeah, this bishop is kind of sad. And the queen is tied down to the thing meat. And if takes I was thinking check, force a bishop back, and then take with check. Forcing king e2. I always play f6. So now I'm threatening. Ooh. Okay, 2150. Five. That's probably my final guess. Yeah, well, it's only legal move. 2155. Let's see it. Wow, provisional rated. 2357. Man, I'm I'm off today by that was my second guess in a row where I've underguessed by 200 points about. Oh, but my opponent's rapid rating is close to 2155. I guess they need to play more games. Yeah, there were some like Higher level moves that game. Uh, like H3 was very timely. And I was actually wondering if White can get away with a knight takes G5 in this position. Is it playable? That's close to playable, actually. It takes, takes, takes. Yeah, I was going to play rook g8. I guess knight d4 also prevents queen f3 and prepares knight e6. What is your favorite cheese? Ooh. I think I was asked that yesterday. Yesterday I was asked my top three favorite cheeses. And I said uh, brie, burrata, and provolone. But I also like the type of cheese where you misspell chess and you just say cheese. Like cheese master or cheese clock. Mozzarella also, yeah. I was making uh, quesadillas last month with the mozzarella. I also like the, the cheese where it's like a four cheese blend that's all grated. Also good for quesadillas. Okay, everyone can vote can voice their cheese opinions in the chat. Um should I continue doing this? Do people enjoy this content? Like guess the elo during a game i'm also curious like i can play some of these from position challenges 
like this person obvious oh oblivious pine, pineapple from the country of earth any other from position jane galt challenging me to bishop odds oh more bishop odds what's my favorite what is this okay th this from position wins what is this? Where'd it go? I don't even know what this is. It looks so circular. It's like a circular square. Where's my king? What color am I? What is life? Who am I playing even? I think I saw their username briefly. I'm gonna turn off Zen mode. I'm playing scary chicken. I'm so scared right now. What's my favorite cheese opening? It's probably when I like open the package of the, the four cheese blend. Wait, what? So white's moving this way, which means I'm moving this way. And my king is here and I'm black. Okay, I have four bishops. Wow. I also have how many queens? I have four queens. So it's equal material. Okay. I think I can roll with this. Is my queen trapped? I think my queen is kind of trapped. Oh no, my queen. But white doesn't promote when they take it. Or do they? They do. This is my eighth rank. <laughs> white can promote. Oh no. I'm so confused. I wonder how a scary chicken thought of this. My queen hanging? But white's queen is also hanging. I don't care about this bishop. I just want to make a queen. I'm going to make a new queen too, right? Or a new knight. Probably a new queen. What about a hot tub cheese stream? Earlier, I was taking notes of stream ideas. Stream ideas. I'll add that to the list. Hot tub cheese stream. Okay. Uh, let's take with this queen. So my pawn defends the bishop. This is so mind-bending. If I take, takes, takes, everything can take back. Also, white has a triple battery. Hmm. I might as well take once. So I'm realizing like this, this is the next pawn that's closest to promoting. Thank you, rookie, rookie A. I'm still a little bit bewildered, but I have four queens and white only has two. So I think that's a good sign. Okay, now I only have three queens. I'm about to lose another one. Take that. So the rook, the knight, or the bishop can take. But now I have this move. Surprise, surprise. Wait, how my queen get to that square initially? Oh, the queen started there. Is my queen trapped? Wow. I think my queen is trapped. I didn't see that move. I thought I was being so clever, but now <laughs> my queen has no squares. What is this witchcraft? Do I have any checks? This file is half open. But more half open for... Wait, no, this is not, it's not even a file. It's a rank. It looks like a file. So this is a file. This file is technically open because there's no pawns on it. 
I think I should just take the bishop. And then I'll take this pawn with check. White's so close to promoting two things, though. But white's in check, and both of white's dark... Or no. Both of white's bishops are hanging. Dark square and light square. I'm so excited to see what Stockfish will say about this game. F4. Oh, pawns can move two squares from the starting square. Wow. Here's to chess and cheese. Mm. Im Rosen. Thank you, Thomas Tansden. Yeah, I don't currently have any cheese in my fridge right now. Maybe I'll pick some up. I'm kind of hungry for cheese now. Okay, so, I mean, Licha says I'm up two minor pieces, which I'll probably believe is true, but white's very close to making two queens. Like, I can't really stop this move. Now, I might as well take a... No, the bishop's not hanging, though. I forgot the knight defends it. It's the same case on this side. I have this move? Because this pawn is uh this pawn is pinned to the king from ooh. Yeah, there's two second increments. <laughs> now we're gonna have to start playing quicker. I've been so flustered by the position, I forgot about the time. Oh, opponent's so courteous. But I, I really don't need more time. I can live on the increment. Uh, yeah, let's keep the pin. I'm still threatening the pawn. I have two attackers. There's only one defender. Okay, now there's two defenders. Hmm. What's my plan? This move? Hi, YouTube and mommy. Play me senpai? Um, I'll, I'll consider it. Thank you, Puxali. But I really need to devote my full mental attention to whatever is happening right in front of me now. White's about to make another queen. But my king feels relatively safe. Like a little bit safer than white's king. Mm. Yeah, let's start pushing. But how to do this? I don't even know my plan here. Maybe this move. The problem is if I play this, I get... Oh, I don't get mated though. Okay. It's going to turn into a time scramble. I just realized I have quadruple pawns. Offering a trade. Don't hurt me. Those rooks not defended. I can't uh I can't easily promote. Mm. Okay, now I can promote soon. Ooh, I didn't see that. <laughs> Don't hurt me. That was a really bad move. Yeah, I have to run this way. White has two queens and I have none. I'm about to make another one. There is surely nothing other than the oh! single purpose of the present moment. A man's whole life is a succession of moment oh. after moment. 
There will be that nothing wasn't else a pleasant to do moment. And nothing else to pursue. Duh. They're being true to the single purpose of the moment. Soon Tomo. Who? Also, what does this mate? Oh, I played really well that game. Oh, Scary Chicken. I just realized Scary Chicken is higher rated than me. What a game. I got cheese mated. Whatever that means. Okay, let's let's see the computer analysis. Look at this graph. Oh, I was better in the opening. White fell for my opening preparation. Wow, it's equal. Wait, is it equal? Oh, White's... Wow. White's apparently winning or losing, <laughs> depending what move is played. This is the best move, though. But it seems like Sawfish is just confused. Bishop takes B2, best move. I took, takes. Wow, we played the top engine line. Bishop takes A1. So after this. That's crazy. So the knight was poisonous. I just assumed white didn't see the knight was hanging, but my queen just got trapped. And then the rest of the game I was losing, except here. Why is bishop c3? Oh, I should have, yeah, I should have tried to promote quickly. And then there was a moment here. So let's see what happened. I was losing, losing, losing. And then apparently this move was a blunder. Oh, simple tactics. It's hard to see simple tactics when the position isn't so simple. Wow. Okay. Um, well, if I put that on YouTube, this will probably go on the YouTube, I think. Thanks for watching, the future YouTube viewers. Let me know if you want to see more content like this. Or let me know what type of content you want to see in the future. I have a whole list of content ideas. Hi. I'm happy to add to the list. So leave your, your thoughts in the comments and then I'll read them. Okay. Hi to Forest City. Thank you, Desperado77. What in the world is this position? Yeah, if you're just joining, we just play the game starting from this position. It was a little bit confusing. Actually stream playing a duck. Oh, um. I actually have to go. I'm glad we got some nice content though, but uh, I just got a message from a real life friend that I'm meeting soon. So uh, I'm sorry to cut things short, but I'm sure I'll, I'll have streams where I I do some of these content. Like so, some of these I'll like devote full streams to. Like opening quack, lessons quack. or variant streams or opening arenas. Yeah, I'll have a real life interaction. It's actually like chess related, I'm doing some chess content with some well known people that are, it's probably going to make its way to YouTube. So stay tuned. Document is unsaved. Yeah, I'll save it later, or I'll just copy paste and email it to myself, or I'll save it to a study, make a new study, and then call it Twitch Ideas, and then create, and then where is my where Best is my comment of luck thing? With everything. Okay, so <laughs> this is how I save. X these days in a WeChat study. 
Okay. I wonder how Stockfish evaluates those. Oh, thank you, Farmanides. Hey, Farmanides, you subbed yesterday too? You subbed two days in a row? Remember your name from yesterday. I still don't know if I pronounce it Farmanides or Farmanides. Anyway, uh, thanks everyone for being here. Thanks again to Lucy and Levy for existing and sending the raid. And yeah, I'll, I'll keep adding to this list. I know there's many more openings to add and more types of things too. So when people want Italian, Evans Gambit, I'm sure, Vienna, etc. Bali. Okay. So it's time to send some love somewhere. A decent number of chess streamers currently. I'll send a raid to someone who I haven't raided in a while. Has lots of good energy, good content. Looks like they're doing some instructive chess. The one and only Anna Maya. Send some good vibes. And I'll be back in the future. Also, yeah, um, I was mentioning earlier, I'm having macbook issues and it's prevented me from releasing youtube content but hoping to get that fixed in the coming days if you want content on youtube the extra channel is being very active posting full streams there and i'll be back soon adios